So then, what do you think the slick and thick flavor should be? I already <laughs> said, I already said like creamsicle, bro. Because I don't know why. Because your shirt, I think. Ugh. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. I'm gonna go. I, I want salted caramel I don't pretzel. Hate it. But you know what? You I really will have salt. my salted car- caramel, caramel pretzel, caramel pretzel. Caramel and it will become pretzel. the best. It will climb the ranks of the delicious battle bars Wait, and be number one. I brought you. I brought you a gift, actually. Did you? You got to move this stuff out of the way, though. All right, let's do it, dude. What you got for me? I, I just know that you're like, uh, you have a problem with peanut butter. So here we go. Hang Listen, on. I gotta say, <laughs> I said about to be straight. Oh. oh! That's a sock. That's what, a sock. What's, that that sock. what's that one? Yeah. That's that one. Yeah. Don't eat that That's one. That's that. That's a sock. Let's That's go. You get a you get a view on this down here. Uh, there we go. Do you want the sock? You know what I gotta say? I'm really happy. This is gonna stay right here. This is gonna be a nice piece <laughs> of the set. Oh shit. <laughs> Sorry, that glove almost caught you though, bro. He thought the set was a sleeping Iraqi. Oh, that got <laughs> Don't worry about it. Leave the shit. Leave the shit. Leave the shit. Um, I I came around on peanut butter, and it wasn't because I I like to eat them on planes where there someone could possibly go into <laughs> diaphylactic shock. Anaphylactic. That, that was fantastic. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's, it's not. No, I actually I came around on them. They were. Damn near, I would say they were second to last for me, but yeah, absolutely. Do I need to put these back in the back? No, 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 no. Right, they were good. second to last. I said they climbed the ranks, and also, you know what? Peanut butter's got 18 grams of protein. It's got two extra grams in there. Look at this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Peanut butter's pre-production. So I do, and I, I do two. I do two of them. I often do two of them at a time, so I work out like a fucking beast. So that means I'm getting fucking. 36 right there. 36. You know what I'm saying? 36. Mm-hmm. So the mm-hmm. uh what is the whole what is the actual sales order? Because I know that what my my favorite order goes s'mores, then I like the lemon, which I feel like a lot of people don't. And then I like the cup the birthday cake, which no. is really good. Then I go strawberry, then I go chocolate, then I go peanut butter. S'mores and lemon are the top dogs. Oh, they're so Le- good. Lemon so that's, is low key delicious. It's oh, so it good. It's so like good. a key lime yeah. pie, yeah. man. It's yeah. It's Smor- like the they them of the bar. It's freaking <laughs> it, amazing. It could be. It's it's a little bit of everything. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah. It well, is. so s'mores and lemon are that's so we're doing this big task with 7-Eleven on the East Coast, right? And like everything on the East Coast, if this goes well over the next, I don't know, probably 20 days, then we go national. We go into 14,000 stores. Oh, sick. Yeah. So, but s'mores and lemon yeah. are, are the ones that we're testing out there. And people right. could use code S and T to get how much off Battle Bar? Is that your site? 20 percent now, baby. Hey, you hear that, motherfuckers? You heard that? You've we been just, asking we for it. We just saved you 67 cents, motherfuckers. <laughs> Enjoy that shit. But yeah, Buy cho- 10 of them. Chocolate was my favorite, and then uh, yeah. strawberry was up there. Yeah. S'mores is now in the game, and I, I never really liked s'mores much. That birthday uh, cake is good, good. Yeah, birthday, yeah, most people love the birthday, birthday cake. cake. That's a lot good, of people's good. favorites. Yeah. But yeah. He, he, had a, he had a red velvet that was seasonal. Yeah, we did. Red velvet's pretty good. Bomb. It was you know, good. have you guys uh, thought about getting into the basic bitch market with a pumpkin spice? Fun, fun, <sighs> fun fact there to, uh, to you last year, yeah. we did a pumpkin spice called the basic bitch. Is that right? We did. Like you know, that. pumpkin spice mm-hmm. is just a fucking nutmeg rebrand, it's fucking garbage. We've I, had we've had pumpkin spice all yeah, like we, we just called it nutmeg. Just nobody wants nutmeg in their mouth. We didn't really. Yeah. We didn't really even want to do it because like it's so basic, but everyone like went nuts over it. Oh yeah. Everyone begged for it, dude. Like, really? We, we sold out in like two weeks. Yeah. Really? Yeah. And then you just decided not to do it again because you hate money or seasonal, bro. Seasonal. Oh okay. Seasonal man. Gotcha. You gotta, gotta keep people coming back for more. <laughs> Apple cinnamon mm. for slick and thick. What do you guys no. want for no? slick and thick? We will make. Honestly, I think it, I think I I someone. Show me why otherwise why it shouldn't be ch- chocolate salted caramel pretzel salted caramel pretzel. And put real chunks of pretzel. How can you make so maybe salted some pretzel, pretzel? But like pretzel I want some I want a healthy. gooey in there. What do you mean? They make all these delicious fuckers uh, healthy. I leave that to the scientists. Yeah, yeah, battle, battle bars bar science. science. Battle bars <laughs> industry. Do you have a chocolate chip cookie one? Uh, so we looked at the cookie dough, but you know what the crazy part is is that like so we use real. I can fuck with cookie dough a little bit. We, yeah, but so you know what's hard is that we we use. So we use real stuff, right? So it's very hard to transport it across the U.S. Of like, course, very hard, yeah. like, especially in the summertime. So it's it, like, like after about let's call it three months, it it loses like the the freshness. And... I, I I hate that this is really a thing. Uh, this is something Mick's been talking about since literally episode one of Slick and Thick, and we just came back. We just did a week in Medellin, Empire MMA, a fantastic event. Mick with Alejandra Azulara. Uh, from Bellator, this whole event it was fantastic. 
to can you say that again ad. please it was the empire mma is fantastic come down to medellin and be a part of it but it might be a sponsorship opportunity for you involved you know some people so the uh the thing is is everybody always says the cliche is uh, i go to europe and i eat pasta and i eat bread and i actually lose weight when i'm out there my, my man i ate Steak for breakfast, lunch, dinner, hamburgers. We were eating six, seven times a day. I'm five pounds lighter than than I left in a week. And it's actually fucking true. Yeah. And the food tastes different. We we had a Bro, barbecue I had, with I, Kevin. I got a, I'm trying to think. I had meat like fucking cow every one of my meals. Yeah. And delicious. I felt great the whole time. How do you feel about that over there, Christian? He's a vegetarian, yeah. guys. <laughs> some of the best, some of the best food we had was from uh, Kevin. Oh, What's man. Kevin's last Damn name? It. Uh, yeah, no. Ke uh, Kevin Great Cuervo. Columbia. Columbia. Battle Bar, you know. Yeah, yeah Kevin right. Cuervo, awesome dude. The the professor at, uh, at uh, Gracie Columbia had us up to his place for a, for a barbecue, and it was unreal. And the food was about as good as I've ever had. I'm like, bro, what are you seasoning this with? He's like, just salt. Just salt. Okay, well, what? What's the, why is this so good? Well, the cow lived over there. Yeah. The cow lived there. Yeah, yeah. Had, probably had a name. Yeah. Family. It, it, mm. I hate that this is real because this is something you've been hearing about, like corporate food, anti Monsanto, but it, it, there, there's something to it, man. The fact that the, the food is local, the fact that the food is real, the fact that it nothing tasted processed. The, the actual food tasted different. It was like explosive flavors, man. And you're like, what are you doing differently? And they're like, nothing. Nothing. Our stuff is like processed, diluted. It really is, and, and you, it, unless you kind of get out of this American ecosystem, yeah. you have no idea how real that is. Yeah. You know, and so something like like what you're saying, the fact that you're not putting preservatives, the fact that you're not going hyper corporate, I applaud you for it. But as you scale, what does that mean? Does that mean like you're only going to be regional? How, how how does that work? No. So you have to make more uh, production facilities, right? And like. That's where like your supply chain. That's where it gets complex, right? And that's where it, this business is so hard. Not many people can have success doing this because you have to raise a ton of money. It costs a lot of money to get to scale. But when you do and you prove that you have a product that can sell and that people want and that will get on a shelf and get off a shelf and that people will order online and wait online for orders when we're sold out, like you can build new production facilities, shorten your ship time. Right. And, uh, you know, shorten your production. Like I, I, you can't live off of making a production every single month. You got to do a production, you know, three, four times a year yeah. and you do it strategically to your top customers across the country where it's like, all right, I know that a bar truly lasts like really good. Like I can put in my packaging that a bar is good for 518 days. That's legally, I can say that, but overall, like between us boys here and whoever's listening to this podcast, right? It's like, you know, three, four months. That's probably, probably the sweet spot. And that's yeah. ideally. But, like, if you order a bar, look, it's not going to be good. Like, you're going to eat it within three, four months, right? But that's not what we're selling to you, like, in the big term. Because if you scale a product and we want to sell millions of these mm -hmm. things, then, like, someone buys it in on the third month. They're buying 100,000 units, right? They're going to buy 100,000 units and it's going on a shelf. And maybe, like, it takes a month to get on a shelf. And you gotta wait, right? So like that's there's a lot of like complex like parts to it. So, well, but that's not a bad thing. That's a good thing. And I wish people would really understand that. Is like if it takes your food, if a food can stay on the shelf for five years, yeah. that, imagine how hard it is for your body to break that down, Dude. right? Like this it, shit like, was on the shelf yeah. for months until Alex knocked it all down. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> like, ah, we don't even like those flavors anymore. <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah, exactly. shit. That's no, so you, you, you know. We like everything that we make. We want it. We it. We go through uh, stupid amounts of uh, like over and over of iterations of product. Like every time that our uh, our food scientists make something, we we send it back. I, I can't even tell you how many times. And they get annoyed with us, but like we're we're perfectionists. And we uh, you know my business partner Ian is like a yin to the yang right mm -hmm. he's like i'm crazy and i'll do a million things i want to try all this and i want to do all this crazy stuff and he's very just okay alex i think you're insane but go ahead and let's let's i'll listen i'll hear you out right and dubs dubs i feel like is kind of like uh kind of like me but with a, a hint of i'm gonna stop i'm gonna listen to you rant for a little while but but doing it the right way is just harder 
you know yeah. it takes longer it's more expensive yeah. and so yeah. that's why people don't do that you know it's just it's a, it. it's a tougher racket but we when you can get it right and get it scaled then it's going to go because the you can always guarantee that it's going to be a quality product it's always going to taste good and it's always going to be within date so are you willing to, willing to tell the people which bars which companies they should avoid like what they should like who, who's doing it wrong if you guys are doing it right i won't call it like certain companies but i will say if you see zero like <laughs> zero sugar on a bar that that's all bullshit or if you see it's a lie or it's like that means it's pumped with chemicals yeah, it's just pumped with artificial sweeteners okay. and like, or unless you look at the back and you look and you see um you know i think monk fruit is a solid like sweetener i, I you know there's like a lot of stuff coming out about stevia this like, kid jacks off about jackfruit yeah. <laughs> loves him some jackfruit he's a vegetarian yes it's, it's like the pulled yeah. pork of for vegetarians oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. exactly yeah. No, somebody, but somebody tried uh, one of these vegan one day uh, i gave him some jackfruit one day he came in his pants it's the weirdest thing i ever saw yeah. Yeah, somebody tried uh, giving me this uh, really expensive mushroom once and called it a vegan steak i said this is a mushroom uh, this is not was a vegan it like steak. a fun mushroom though uh, no it was not a fun mushroom and it was it was a tasty mushroom but to call it steak was pretty aggressive were you actually in Medellin, or huh? did you just eat that mushroom steak and just no, I was one hundred percent Medellin. No, I, well, no I, I promise you, I was in Medellin. I, can, I got the bumps and sores to prove it. So the uh... antibiotics are over the counter down there too. That's what I hear. So, that is yeah. true. That's what I hear. Yeah. But you know, allegedly, I, allegedly, I believe in the secret. So I just put up a picture of myself before I had AIDS, and then I'd think really hard and like wish like that I don't, and then I don't. So work for Magic Johnson. Yeah, he got he was bug chasing, got AIDS on purpose just to lose some fucking weight. But look yeah. at the look at the look at the size yeah. this man just knows how to hold on to mass uh, couldn't do it couldn't do it i'm the first guy to go uh hiv double positive which is a negative yeah, uh, that's right. like, yeah sorry bro you're so positive you're negative Correct. Yeah, you, positive your, yeah. bo your body just knew how to handle it yeah, yeah. no they're like nah that's fine <laughs> circled back around on that yeah, yeah. It always comes back to it yeah battle does. bars hiv positive so <laughs> <laughs>